so lmo droid version 4.2 based on android 13 is here the version which was based on android 12 i made a video on that already some days ago and that was very good option and if you want to install android 13 you can install that unfortunately while making this video it's not officially available for any device i think so i found and it was not available i tried to find it but it was not available for any device because while making this video lineage 20 is not officially re released so it's based on Lineages. So if Lineage 20 will be released, you will see LM Android version based on Android 13 officially for your device too. But right now it's available unofficially and I am talking about for Redmi Note 10 Pro. It might be available for your device also. So make sure to check it out. We are here with this default launcher settings, which is basically same. No things are, no new things are included by the way. If we move on to this quick settings panel, which is now a bit changed and you have the option to customize the background, background transparency. We will talk about that later on, so stay tuned. A lot of things are improved and with Android 13 update, all the Android 13 features are already here. And if you want to use this version, you I will prefer you to use this vanilla version. I'm talking about for Redmi Note 10 Pro users. If you're using official version, you will not get the Google Apps pre-installed. The things, the default apps which are included are super good. These are open source apps. But first of all, here comes the dialer. If you need different kind of dialer, if you go to Google dialer, yes, you will see AOSP kind of dialer, which will give you the recording option for sure, I think so, because I'm using this customer care number. So that is why the recording option is not there. But recording option should be there if you use any other numbers. Right now, I don't have. The default browser, which is as expectedly is not the simple boring one which you have in AOSP. This is open source app called Fulgaris browser. And I think so I made a video on this browser app some time ago on my Hindi channel. If you haven't checked it out, you can go and find out that. Some good UI options are present. Some good privacy features are present with this default browser app. Other options, I mean uh, this calculator, which is having all the good options. But one thing keep in mind, you can see it is having the monet support so this is very good the calendar is also an open source app let me show you which i'm talking about the itar project it is also an open source project for, for this app i mean all the apps which are available here are open source app you can see this aperture camera is included which is kind of expected lineage os introduced that and it's based on lineage os so yes we have a aperture camera aperture camera is not a bad choice and i think so it's available as a ported camera for some of the devices and maybe for based on android 13 option android 13 devices i think so i made a video on that one too so you can search for that aperture camera and you might get my video other options gallery which is as expectedly same like aosp or you can say lineage os it's just basically same no major things no major changes moving on to this default music app for me from my personal opinion i absolutely love this this music app is just super good and i've talked about that in the previous video too which was for this lmo droid which was based on android 12 the same thing is present with version android 13 this looks good and for me this music app is looking so good other option like settings ui which is also looking good it's far more better than the stock one the card style ui which you can't customize i mean if you're using other customers you will be able to customize those but in lm mode right you will not be able to customize that private dns is having the cloud flare dns option which is a very good thing an advantage if you're using this custom room you can enable this option by connecting to internet display options is giving you this pocket detection option which is a very useful thing other options you have font options where you can use only single fonts source sans pro it's just okay icon shape options it's completely same here of course this custom does not brings you a lot of customization because it's not a customization focused custom room blur option is there we have desktop mode desktop mode on pc desktop mode on tv these are the different options and i don't think so this option is available in any other custom room a lot of custom rooms i've tried so far but this feature is not available wallpaper and style ui is just looking same here but one thing if you're able to notice you don't have the themed icon support of course it's, it's it is not having the google play services and you don't need that monet theming is it's just a part of google so i don't think so you will need that system icons the best thing is volti wo wi-fi icon is there and this is the one which i was talking about background transparency so how this works if i set it to seven let me show you by moving into my home screen once and okay this is the ui so if you want to customize this 
thing you can customize it very easily background transparency has a lot of options and uh, this is it these are the things which are available in lm Android. although it supports ota updates too but if you use official version if you're using unofficial then these things might not work for you these were things I just wanted to let you know. This is about LMO Droid based on Android 13. If you want to install an official version for Redmi Note 10 Pro users, link is available in the description. Official, very soon. Goodbye.